You may have noticed there are tons of friendly stray and abandoned cats in our neighborhood. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is a complex issue, but the biggest cause is not enough access to free or low cost spay and neuter services. Come here. Many cats in this area were born outside and taken in by neighbors. Come here. And so many have never been to a vet. They've never been vaccinated, spayed, or neutered. As I've never seen her before, I wanted to make sure she wasn't just a neighbor's cat roaming around for an extra meal. We named her Chatty Charlie for obvious reasons. The next night, I invited her to join us for dinner with the colony. I decided if she was still there the next day, I'd bring her in. This brown spot here is saliva. She has some kind of dental issue that's causing her to drool excessively. Charlie was very happy to be indoors. She continued to have drool or saliva on both sides of her mouth, so we took her to a vet to get it checked out. The vet said that some of her teeth were fractured and the swelling was preventing her mouth from properly closing. She received steroids and antibiotics and we scheduled a dental appointment to have her broken teeth extracted. I'm not sure if it was separation anxiety or just her personality, but Charlie really loved being around people. She hated being excluded from any activity. She also loved being around other cats. So after a few weeks of quarantine and after she had been vaccinated and spayed, we decided to introduce her to some of our resident cats while she waited for a home. This is Garfield, our most easygoing resident cat. He was rescued from our backyard two years earlier in the exact same spot where we found Charlie. We'll be doing a separate story on him later. One challenge with introductions is one cat is so excited to have a friend, they can tend to be a little overbearing. Keep in mind, introductions should be spread out slowly over several weeks. You can see a link in the description for a proper way to introduce a new cat to your home. This is Mani, another rescue from down the block. She's doing just fine without Charlie, thank you very much. Cats will often wash each other as a sign of companionship and cohesion. But it's also a non-violent way of trying to assert dominance. When one cat washes another, they're basically saying, I'm a higher rank than you. And that's why you may often see fights break out in between the washing sessions. Charlie wasn't even born yet when we rescued Garfield. But it's so nice to see two cats from the exact same block forming such a tight bond.
We enjoyed every day with her like it could be our last. Because one day, it was. As much as we loved having Charlie be a part of our family, as much as we loved the 5 a.m. wake up calls, we found her a perfect forever home where she can be the center of attention. Rescuing cats off the street is just treating the symptom. This cycle will continue until we actually address the problem. So we're partnering with another nonprofit organization, the Toby Project, to offer free or low cost spay and neuter services to residents in Brooklyn. The service is designed for people who could not otherwise afford a vet. We know they love their cats just as much as everyone else. Come here. Come here.